Okay, so what we're going to do here is persist our login data so that when the user logs into the app, he won't have to keep logging into the app every time he goes to the app. So what we're going to do is um, get into your sign-up view controller. It's really simple using Firebase. And we're going to scroll up to the top, and we're just going to... Let's look for our view did load, which is right here, right under the view did load. We're just going to access the view did up here. So it's going to be override func view did up here. And this is going to be before the view appears. So then we're going to go super dot view did appear and then just pass an animated. You can, every time you use view did up here, you're going to have to do this because you have to override um, its super class. So, all right, so let's jump down here and let's get a reference to Firebase. So let ref equal Firebase. Let's pass in our URL. I have to go grab it, so I'm just going to go down here and grab it. It's right here. And if you want to make this a constant, um, definitely make it a constant so you don't have to keep copying it in. All right, let's hop in here and let's paste that in. And then what we can do is we can go if ref dot auth data is not equal to nil. Then we want to present our uh, view rider VC. So when we log into the app, every time this view before this view appears, it's gonna check to see if auth data is not equal to nil to see if we're logged in, and if we are, it's gonna present the screen. Now. Um, another spot we can put this is, to make it a smooth transition is in the initial view controller. So let's just copy this code right here. It's just going to be this right here. Let's just copy this and hop over to the view, contro view controller. Make sure to come to the top and import Firebase. Controller, and let's go on our sign in button. All right, so we're going to put that right here. Let's just pop this code in and then take this function out, and we'll just put in the um, lines of code here because the function's in our sign-up view controller. So let's just backspace this. Let's get into the sign-up view controller, scroll all the way to the bottom to the present view controller, and then just copy these lines of code. Let's get back in our view controller and let's paste it in. So we're going to say if auth data is not equal to nil, then present the rider VC view controller. And if you want, um, if a user's a user shouldn't be tapping register to get back into the app. So we'll just leave it like that. So let's let's test this out. Let's run the app. And that, well, actually, let me stop that before I run it. Um, let's scroll back up. Just caught myself. I'm moving fast. All right, so right here we need to put an else statement and say else. All right, so we're saying if the user is not logged in, then we need to run this code, which is going to be the um, sign up view controller. So let's pop, let's close off our curly brace down here, and now let's run it. Let's see what we get. All right, so now we're going to sign in. We have to hit allow because I've removed the app from the phone so that we can do this. All right, so now we're signed in. We're good to go. Let's end the app. Let's stop the app. And then let's see what happens when we get back in. So let's run it again.
All right, so now we're back at the main screen. When we hit sign in, it should bring up the uh, Rider VC, the view controller. Bam. All right, so now the app knows that we're logged in. We have a persist login, and um, I'll see you in the next video.